Hello. On this fourth uh, week in Lent, fourth Sunday in Lent, the lectionary brings us back the parable of the prodigal son, a very, very famous parable from Jesus. And often what we get from it is we church people should not be like the eldest brother of the story. We should rejoice when a sinner, a lost son, coming back to the church. And let's be honest, it's a bit of oversimplification of the story and it's also self-serving, you know, because we're assuming that the lost want to come back and we feel good about that. But since Jesus did not want to create a new church, a new institution, how can we look at this from a different point of view? Maybe one possibility is this relationship between scarcity and abundance. You see, the first character is the younger son who struggle. He lives in a society where all children are not equal. The eldest brother, the eldest son, is expected to get everything and, and rule in the, fa the name of the family, and the other brothers are left with almost nothing. And when it's time to divide inheritance, it's not 50-50. No, no. The eldest brother gets almost everything, and the younger ones get only scraps and you know almost nothing so this young man feels some kind of a void inside of himself feeling that there's not enough for him on uh, in his father's house in his society so he goes he asks for some money he tried to leave to fill this void and end up alone by himself there's the eldest son. That's an interesting character. Because he also struggled. There's also a void inside himself. He's the one who stayed. He's the one who worked, who have worked very hard. And he feels that his father has never acknowledged him. He never received any gifts. He did not receive special status. And when he sees that his younger brother has a party and he has none, what he does, he stay outside. He end up alone, also alone, like his little brother earlier in the story. And he feels that if his father wastes all this money as younger son, there's not going to be enough. There's some scarcity here. And there's the father. The father who loves both of his sons. It almost does not make sense for many of us. The younger son take part of his money, waste it, come back, hey, let's have a celebration. The older son threw a fit in the middle of a party. He leaves his guests and start pleading, start begging his son to come back because he believed there's enough. Enough love for both sons, enough resources for all the family, enough food, enough everything. And what is interesting in all of this is we feel that wholeness is found when scarcity departed, when the younger son feel that he's alone, that come back, he discovered that, yes, there's abundance. And the oldest son is the same thing. In our lives, we spend so much time making lists, looking for discerning and wasting so much time to look at what we don't have, what we should have what we are entitled we think we're entitled everything that makes us incomplete makes us miserable resentful and we know we know 
here. Mentally, that does not help, but still we're doing it. But, and we know that when we acknowledge what we have, we look at our assets, at our resources, and I'm not just talking about money. It could be family, it could be friends, it could be community. There's always space for more. Somehow we discover that, yeah, we can share. Even if you don't have much, there's always a possibility to share. There's always room around the table for one more. There's always love that can be given to someone. And to have two or four or ten friends does not, it's not a pie. Love is not a pie that if you have more, you have less for everyone. No, there's no limit to love, to compassion, to all of this. So the question often we ask in our church is, which son are you? Are you the prodigal son? Are you the elder son? Maybe the question we should ask ourselves is, are we like the son, one of the sons running, fighting, resentful thinking in terms of scarcity and what can I get from me? Or are we like the father? who share, who give, who believe in abundance, regardless of what's happening. Which life do we want to live? Which world we want to build? In this time of Lent, this is part of a reflection. We prepare ourselves for Easter. But what kind of Easter do we want? What kind of new world do we want? It's an invitation to believe that there's always enough. There's always something to share. There's always love to be given to one another. Once again, thank you for watching. Until next time, I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.